John <laughs> you are today God said to you submit your service to one another submission it means love it means each one of you put the dignity of the other before his dignity may God blessing be in your home his Holy Spirit reside in your church a small church that started today may the lord fill your life with joy may the lord dwell in your hearts love and happiness bind you forever today helen you married your soulmate and it will probably go down as the best day in your life Helen, you truly are someone that I treasure more and more as the years go on. You're always optimistic, almost annoyingly, and you really look at every situation in the best light. I'm sure most of us here could say, we wish we had a little bit more of that quality in all of us. Marrying your best friend is truly one of life's greatest joys. The comfort and love you experience with your life partner when you believe that you are meant to be together is second to none. I am delighted that my sister has found her life partner. John, welcome to the family. Helen, my little sister, congratulations on finding an amazing husband. Cheers to Helen and John. the most selfless person and constantly put others before yourself. You're strong and fearless and have been an inspiration to me all these years. John, I have such peace in my heart handing my best friend and sister over to you because I know with my hoping that you love her as much as I do. And you know every day how lucky you are to have her. One of our beloved fathers once said something that really stuck with me and he said if in a marriage both spouses have their eyes on Christ and both spouses are walking towards the Lord without realizing it they're gonna be walking with one another and that makes marriages successful I'm gonna stay right by you I'll come and carry you across the sea Helen, she's absolutely gorgeous, isn't she? Everyone, round of applause, round of applause. <laughs> Helen, you're the most beautiful bride. I think you're amazing and kind, and I really can't live life without you anymore. One final toast to everyone here. Thank you guys all for coming. Um, and this is to all of us. Cheers. To my sweet Helen, I can't believe the day is finally here, the day I get to call you my wife. 
I love you with all my heart and I can't thank God enough for bringing our paths together. You bring me more happiness than you know and I can't wait to start this love-filled life with you. Thank you for the ups and the downs. I know that we will always focus on God and each other. No matter what life throws our way, no matter what circumstances, know that I will always be by your side. To my love in my life, as I think back to these last four years, I thank God for blessing me with such a wholehearted, kind, and loving partner. You have truly shown me what love is, and I am so excited for our future. Thank you for never giving up on our love, for fighting for us, for always keeping God in our relationship, and for always putting a smile on my face. And God truly blessed me with you. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife as also Christ is head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot nor wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. You are the most beautiful person inside and out. You are the one who makes my heart smile and the one who I look forward to seeing every day from now until forever. I love you always, babe, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Whether it's 50 years or 50 seconds, I'd spend it all with you every single time. Love you always, your husband-to-be, John. These are my promises to you in our life. One, I promise to love you unconditionally. Two, I promise to pray with you and always ask about your needs. I promise to always be lighthearted and delightful because those are your favorite adjectives. And I promise to love you for our 50 year minimum. I'm honored to be your wife forever, my love. Can't wait until I see you at the altar, baby. Love always, Helen. Thank you.